Hello, and welcome to another tutorial. If you would like to see me continue making videos on YouTube, please consider making a donation. You can find a link at the bottom of my website, jamesgilbertmusic.com. Have you ever wondered how Sibelius knows what sounds to play without you having to specify MIDI channels and patches and presets and the like? Sibelius uses a configuration file called a sound set to do all the work behind the scenes. This works great for the Sibelius sounds, but unless you have a configuration file for your favorite virtual instrument or external hardware, there is no guarantee that Sibelius will play the right instruments or instrument articulations for that library. Fortunately, we can edit or create our own sound sets using the Sibelius sound editor. It's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. This video is simply an introduction to the editor. Available on the Sibelius website, one can download the Sibelius sound set editor. It requires Adobe Air to run. Once installed, run the program and open the Sibelius 7 Sounds configuration file to give you an idea of how things work. The sound set can be found in the Sibelius user data folder in the Sounds subfolder. See the user manual for details on where this is. As you can see from the number of tabs at the top, there's a lot to deal with. The general tab specifies the type of instrument. Is it Sibelius instrument, a contact-based instrument, MIDI, like in an external uh, hardware, ARIA, or a fixed. If you pick the wrong instrument or library type, it probably won't work. Most people will be dealing with either a contact instrument or MIDI, and MIDI is great if you've got an external sound module. The controllers and volume type tabs contain basic information about MIDI CC controllers that are active in the library or the type of volume controls that are available. As you may know, there are two main volume functions in MIDI. Controller 7 gives you basic volume and controller 11 gives you the expression. Oftentimes that is mapped to the modulation wheel so you can use the modulation wheel to have swells and um, crescendos and diminuendos within a whole note and the like, depending on your library of course. The switch types tab deals with switches. This is where you specify things like articulations, staccato, legato, etc., or things like adding and re or removing organ stops. This section is essential if your sound library has different types of articulation available per instrument. Like a, like a violin, it has pizzicato, arco, um, with mutes, without mutes, um, and, and the like. Within Sibelius, you usually trigger these with lines, symbols, text, and the other options available in the Playback Dictionary. There's a whole section in Sibelius User Manual on that. You can specify the switches as controller switches using MIDI continuous controller messages or key switches, which are individual MIDI notes. Read your virtual instrument manual to see if it uses key switches and what that means if you aren't sure. what. The magic, so to speak, is in the program section. You spe specify the name of the program, the patch, the sound ID, how the volume is created, switches if required, and so forth. Perhaps the two most important things to get right for contact-based instruments are the name in library and library path. That's how Sibelius knows what to tell contact to load. The drums drum maps page defines the sounds that different MIDI notes correspond to in a drum or percussion sound. I find this is most useful when I've specified a MIDI or contact instrument in the general tab. Once you've created a sound set and put it in the right folder, see the Sibelius manual again if you're not sure where to put it, you need to specify it in the playback tab under the configuration option. If your sound set configuration file isn't listed there, you didn't put the file in the right folder. Try exiting and reloading Sibelius if you created the sound set while Sibelius was running. In the playback tab, there's a configuration option, a mixer option, and a sound engine editor. Go into the configuration and create a new one to fit your particular sound set that you just created and make the necessary adjustments to that, whether it's a contact instrument, a MIDI instrument, Sibelius instrument, ARIA, whatever. Within the playback configuration section, if you need to, you may have to specify specific instruments on specific channels in order to get things to work correctly. I find with the uh, Roland D10 that I have, that's necessary. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions about it. You can contact me at my webpage. 
Thanks for watching.